been in the building again a good foundation and then they're starting to get these performances in the big stage we should say scotland along with wales and england have sort of regrouped after floor. the great britain side was Backwards disbanded they played the first two events of the series obviously that's the team that plays in the olympics so we're back to the traditional nations scotland here really looking for something that's a good hard carry from jamie farndale vastly experienced farndale right. you can see the difference in attitudes ireland there with all their penalties and free kicks have been taken it quickly whereas scotland i think they're just going to slow it down here you go to see it please try and make it stop start type of fear and use their big guys like jamie farndale on the edge to get meters 50 events for jamie farndale so he's uh he's been and done this for a while and there is a bit of the future of Stay Scottish there, Rugby. Loretto, very exciting. Good line out to hit Kelly in the middle. A high pass, but it's well gathered by Farndale. He wins the initial battle. And he's still on his feet. That's good work. He sucked in a few Irish defenders. See what they get coming back. Through the hands. Going back inside. You hear the communication there from the Irish. They pride themselves in their defense. They're even refereeing, as you can hear it. Deeming that he's in the side. Stolen. Oh, no, so trying to get the ball out. So, good defensive passage from Ireland. Oh, great. Especially just realizing when to counter ruck. And they got the turnover. That one spilled forward. Advantage being played. A chance for Scotland. Tackle. He had a rucks form. Extra roll, he's had an extra go. You heard the referee say he's had an extra roll, so it'll be a quick tap. Ireland, here they go. Pounding away. Andrew Smith stepping inside. Fancy footwork. Oh, what a display. Andrew Smith oozing confidence. Try Ireland. Oh, geez. I thought they were unlucky at the ruck there, Scotland. But Ireland, to their credit, again playing with tempo. Here's the offload. Nice hands from Andrew Smith. He had a lot of work to do, a lot of yards to go to, to run. <laughs> There's the first step. Oh, man. Talk about breaking ankles. There's another one. Oh, see you later. One more for good measure. Oh, great young kid. Brand new turf here at the stadium. He's making full use of it, cutting hard. That's Ireland's uh, try score. Not much after the turnover. You said it was a bit of a questionable call at the breakdown. Unlucky for Scotland, but Ireland took full advantage of it, scoring within two phases, two passes. Beautiful hanging kick, but well gathered by the Scottish lifting pair. Side down in midfield. Uh, more hands in there for the Irish. Off feet, four. Go one hand on the ground. Quick tap. Scotland looking to respond. They're no, down they're two okay. tries. That's a nice pass into space. Edmonds still going. He keeps it alive. Oh, just doesn't go to hand. Oh, Nusu gathers it up. Still advantage. So that'll come back, I think, for the original. Advantage wasn't over. First knock on by Blue. Oh, that's unfortunate there for the Scottish team. Jordan Edmonds, you spoke about him, how good he was last week in the Singapore. He's a big unit. So what they've done, they've got one big unit and Edmonds on one side, one big over unit here, with Farndale on the other. That's always going to draw okay. over defenders. Still stable, wait for me. Yeah, as I said, Edmonds, only his third World Series event. Crouch. Six tries last Stop. week. Debuted in Malaga. Fine. 27 years old, but that was a nose for the line. <laughs> Free kick to Ireland. Scrum still unsettled. And they're off and running. This team's played a lot of rugby together right from the Olympic repechage qualifying when they beat the French. That'll be an interesting rematch in this tour later today. To the Olympics and uh, just a really good group that's gelled well and spent a lot of time, as we said, preparing. This time they've been penalized to break down. Yeah, there's some good work over the ball from McCartney. There you go. Here's the chance, Scotland. Quick hands. Elms is brought down. Coming back, Ross McCann, the distinctive 
purple hair. The Scottish looks like a thistle himself there with a the head wrap. Around the corner. Great kick and go. Kalim Barreto. We said he's dangerous. We said he's the future. He's just going to let the clock go. Scotland on the board through Barreto. Yeah, I thought McCann should have probably given the ball, but in the end, it turns out it's the right decision. He gives it to Kelly, who sets it up, and this guy saw there was no one in and around the ruck on the right-hand side, and he exploits him. Yeah, Barreto in his fifth tournament. Debuted in London back in 2019, all pre-COVID. The easiest of conversions means the difference at halftime is only five points. Ireland 12, Scotland 7. and England who really need to find some form. So tons of action here in Vancouver. Stay with us. Thanks for joining us. I'm Gareth Reese here with Carl Tanana and uh, the HSBC fine. World Series into game two. Yeah. Ireland who've been in uh, had a lot of the possession have bobbled it there just up by one score. Uh -huh. Yeah, they tried by Bruto just before the halftime whistle. Really giving Scotland some momentum. You don't see this very often. Kroll. Just has it's a little look at whether he's going to pass the ball before Stay securing it. Okay. Nah. Man, oh, man, it's going to get a score here. So a good start. Come on, Scotland wanted Crouch. possession just on the 22 meter line there. Fine. Set. Scotland scrum. Where do you go here, KT? Oh, you got to go to the right hand side for me. A lot of space. Option to go wide. He doesn't use it. He keeps possession. Immediate support. Advantage. Irish players off their feet. Advantage. They can take a chance here. Scotland threatening the line through the big man. He gets over. Does he get the try? Jordan Edmonds picks up where he left off in Singapore. His first try here in Canada 7. Well, that's what happens when you got a big body. Big body or small body. Use your power. Use your strength. Use your left arm to keep him off. And then use those big legs to get over the line. And get their big arm out. Nothing though. wrong with that. Scotland yeah, right back in it. They're evened Und it up. Understood. Now, I thought your first movement was down. Certain players, KT, just know how to score tries. Know when to roll, when to reach out, when not to reach out. Yeah, the spatial awareness, how far it is away, when he needs to go down, use his power. This is down. for the lead. Just a little short, but one yeah, Irish mistake and the Scottish down the bottom right punish there. it. And that's the thing, Reese. you make a mistake in this game, teams are good enough, regardless on the table, to punish you. Now, here's one from the restart for Scotland. Can't yeah. have this. Ahead of the kicker. Schoolboy error. Just when the momentum was starting to shift to Scotland. We talk about scoring before and after halftime. Scotland have done the hard work to do that and get back in this game. Now they've given a prime opportunity away for Ireland to sneak back into this game. Well, Jordan Conroy is on the field. He's on the near touchline here they kick ahead this is a set no, play Kennedy get the bounce it's awkward but he does well to maintain possession <laughs> takes and a knee to the, the head the ground first. And this time Mark Scotland said. not supporting the right put tap five minutes from the line this game's tied Ireland take the lead relentless play Billy Dardis pops up try Ireland all from their kickoff having a man in front and they drop points to Scotland it was a good kick to go down and Hands Kennedy the picked it up. Foot. They took the quick tap after the penalty was given away by Scotland. And Billy Dardis, the skipper, comes off the bench and makes an immediate impact. Thank you. This conversion a bit easier than the Scottish one. He struck it well through the middle. And Carl, from that midfield penalty with Conroy and Kennedy on the wings, incredibly hard for Scotland to defend. Well, especially when they weren't employing a sweeper, so they had no one in back behind the first line. Down and these the guys, they've got guys that can jam especially on the outside conroy one of the fastest guys on the circuit kennedy was parked up on the other side not too far behind him so multiple threats jordan conroy with 62 tries in 12 events it's got to be one of the best strike ratios ever but again the irish don't go 10 on the kick oh that's the second time for them and they've been owning it they've been owning the restart so they've given the opportunity back to scotland are they good enough chance to move themselves up that table here in vancouver they're down seven at the moment. Three minutes to play, and they've been penalized. Second time. 
Second time that's happened in the F Sharol, and this one was clear and easy and obvious. number eight, green. Well, that's the other stuff. You just explain what a player is allowed to do in terms of rolling. Yeah, so when you get down to the ground and you tackle, you have to release that's the ball tough, straight away. Some tough. players, like Jamie Farndale, did there, there, there. He went one more roll just to try and buy time for a support Number player. Five, extra roll. So you can't do that because it stops the defence trying to get over the ball and contest. If you've got momentum, the referee will sometimes let you complete that roll and then present. But if you're just buying time, as he said, because you know you're isolated, not going to be allowed. Okay, good play. Interesting tactic. Going to the sideline rather than taking a quick tap, but I suppose now when you're in control, you want to lock up the ball a little bit more. There's the seesaw nature of this one. Scotland clawed their way back, but a couple of penalties and mistakes have cost them. Big Irish line out here. Try score, Dardis, and the hooker roll. A little bit of discussion about not having a gap. No, 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 six. To bring him back, that has to be taken to the 15 meter line. I'll try not to laugh, but you can you see the still, Scotland team will move over, then the Irish team will move away, and then the hooker will move down. You so stay still, I don't know. five meters you. down the field. Referee Ruben Keane, the Australian, now, not having any of it from Scotland, he says. Matt McDonald on the field, he starts it off. They go behind. This man's been an impressive impact sub, Gavin Mullen. Ireland have possibly one of the best benches on the series to go to the likes of Mullen and Conroy. Kennedy not forcing the pass. Knows that his side is up by seven. Just comfortable taking it up, regrouping, setting up another platform. This is, the, I guess, the experience now of this Irish team that, you know, they don't panic, they don't chase games from the times when they were a qualifier. But now they're a regular member of the series. They've got that experience. Feels good. He's got it. He's stolen it. Good work from Ross McCann. And now, a chance here, a minute and a half to play. Scotland possession. Yeah, advantage, two from the side. Quick advantage, advantage for Scotland, over. and that's over. They've got some space to work it out wide. Brought down is Jacob Henry. He has fresh off the bench as well. Pass to no one, but it's going to bounce fairly kindly. Farndale's got his hands on it. Paddy Kelly. Alex Coombs, the whole bench is emptied right now. So there's fresh legs on for Scotland. What will come from it? Good stepping right through the middle. It's pumped out wide to the finisher, Jamie Farndale. He's down. Oh, fantastic clean out from Brett, though. Oh, I thought he'd done enough there. Oh, so did I. It's going to be Harry McNulty over there. Pill getting that turnover. Massive for them because they the go forward that Scotland never see it here. Found out. Three players around. There's a clear release. He's over the ball. Maybe. Oof. I reckon his elbows are on the ground there. It's Come unfortunate. On. But how good is McNulty? That's the role he plays. He's the workhorse and he, he makes things happen for his Irish teammates. Of course, an Olympian with this group down in Tokyo. Yeah, you talk about the experience when you get a guy like McNulty off the bench. That's why they're going to go to the line out. You know, he's their line out jumper. He's money. Pretty much there. Uh, not that long. And if you want to follow example, Ireland or Scotland yeah. or any of your teams, just scan that uh, QR code on your screen. That'll okay. get you to the app. Fantastic Thumbs app for the HSBC World Series. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. It's unreal. You can okay. just link in when your Thumbs team's on. playing, wherever you're from. It tells you when they're on. And, oh, man, the new age will. It's so cool. You can look at the all the stats. Yeah. Leading so try scores have now, both please. Conroy and Kennedy on it if you're Irish. So, 10 seconds to play. Yeah, and this is where the likes of McNulty are so stay good. He's got are. the turnover. Stay. He's going to be the one stay the ball's going to go to in this line. Now, Scotland have to compete here. Time off. The Hooters sounded. We're going to have time off. We're number five. Sub. There's going to be a five. sub just to stop the clock, okay. although stay still. it doesn't stay really still. affect matters. Both Barring a penalty, still. the Irish can gather possession and get it off the field. Come on. For a, a hard fought win here. So just a bit of confusion. The sub hasn't been completed. On will come yeah. Harry Patterson. Okay. So come he's hoping somehow he can still. stand on the ball. But Harry McNulty just saying they've got to stay on their spot. They keep on moving over to Scotland. Here we go. Textbook stuff. McNulty does his job with his lifting pod. And Ireland escaped the challenge. Impressive challenge from Scotland as they clawed their way back. But in the end, it's Ireland 19 points.
to 12 over Scotland. 